What's going on friends? Sam Pratt is back once again. Aker Mate have reached out and sent me their M5C 3D printer. It's here right in this box. We're going to unbox it. We're going to go through all the specs and see if perhaps this is something that you should buy. I know very little about this 3D printer at this point in time. So, well, let's get straight on into it. Here we go. <laughs> You are watching a master at work. So this is the Ankermake M5C, and in fact it's a good-looking, uncomplicated Cartesian 3D printer, which uses mainly a cloud-based approach to 3D printing. The unboxing was a breeze, with only 8 screws for the Z-axis, and 2 to hold on the filament spool. As it happens, there was not actually any filament inside of the box. Instead, you get some pretty detailed instructions along with a toolkit, which includes a spare 0.4mm nozzle. This printer is very much geared towards a new user and has pretty much everything you will require, again, apart from the filament. Its approach is easy and simplistic with an easy to build and well thought out process with a mere 10 screws and only a few cables to plug in. This simplistic design continues with the single button design, which is used to play and pause your prints should you need to. And to be fair, over the past week of using this machine, I've really only used the button to test to see what it does, as everything on the printer can be controlled from your phone or slicer software on your laptop or PC. And even that's a little bit more complicated because you will need an app installed onto your mobile phone to do things like extruding and retraction for changing the filaments and also lifting the Z-axis for changing things like the nozzle. The M5C standout features include ultra-precise 0.1mm printing, a hot end that can handle temperatures up to 300 degrees, a smooth flow rate of 35mm square, and a fast print rate of up to 500mm per second. And just because this printer can print at 500mm per second, it doesn't always mean that it's the best choice. Let me explain. Dialing in speed requires careful adjustment, and while you can fine tune the slicer settings and adjust the belts manually, the M5C has a limited ecosystem. Deeper customization ventures into closed source hardware and software territory. I'm led to believe that this printer's firmware is Marlin, and of course let me know in the comments if you think or know otherwise, but getting into that and playing with the settings isn't necessarily what the manufacturer was intending on. So the big manufacturing boast is a 17 minute 40 second Benchy that can be printed basically directly from the app. Now I want to be completely clear that this is certainly from my perspective showing you my experience and of course your experience and others might be different but the 17 minute Benchy printed at 500 millimeters per second using gold silk PLA has shown a great deal of echoes in the print also known as ringing. One of the many fixes for this was to basically ensure that the belts were correctly tightened and well we messed around with that quite a bit. The best solution of course is well slowing down the print speed and while I don't relish printing benchy after benchy after benchy it was a necessary evil to try and get this test done and can make as well I reached out to their support team and they were absolutely brilliant they sent me loads of different profiles lots of g-codes to try on silk filament as we all know you know deviations in the print is always going to show up much greater with uh, things like silk filament so thank you very much to those guys and really and truly what we really pushed forward for was, well, slowing down the print speed in order to get better quality prints. Now, again, this is my experience. Your experience might be different. And if you've had a different experience, let me know about it. Stick it in the comments. Let me show you these. Well, ahoy there. The row at the back here are stock benches printed at 17 minutes. And the support guys even suggested that perhaps re-slicing might solve the issues. They even sent me additional G-codes to try and better the prints. The belts were also adjusted up and down throughout these tests and in fairness the echo was still apparent. We tried their beta silk slice G-code and a range of 25 to 40 minute benches and this is really where we started to take some notice of some changes. Around 40 minutes with speed variations of 500 then going down to 250 we really started hitting a sweet spot and I'd say that the final 40 minute benchy was the best of the bunch and we have to remind ourselves here that we're not printing at 50 millimeters per second here anymore and I feel that a good print at 250 millimeters per second is still well worth the time. Oh and here's a uh, non-silk uh, 17 minute benchy printed at 500 millimeters per second and again you can tell what it is it's not like it's a massive fail but that one has to be the favorite. The M5C has a 220 by 220 by 250 millimeter bed and it delivers on quality prints and speaking of quality let's thank our sponsor today tcbway.com. Having worked with this excellent sponsor for over 12 months now, I want to thank them for their ongoing support with my content creation and ask you that if you have a project coming up that requires the best PC manufacturing in the business, PCBWay.com is the route to take. So check them out today at PCBWay.com. Of course, it's not just PCB manufacturing, it's CNC machining, 3D printing of all different types and sheet metal fabrication and injection molding. Once again, thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring this video.
So let's talk more about the M5C and its predecessor, the M5, and well, we'll come on to this in just a second. So the M5C is actually the second release by Anchor Make, and although I didn't get to try the M5 out, what I have seen online, it does look like a pretty stable design, and it's been well received by other content creators. The key difference is here, of course, is that the M5 does have a screen, and it has a built-in camera to monitor the print, where the M5C, well, does not. And asking about the camera and using a third-party camera, well, that won't work either, according to the support team. The price on the M5 is 649 whereas the M5C is coming in around about the 399 mark. So my best guess here is that they've cut down the features to save on production costs but I still would have liked to have seen a camera as monitoring your prints via yourself or AI is very much where things are at right now. Look how happy that kid is. You've got to buy one, right? The specs are kind of Ender 3 esque, and as I've previously said, it's a 220 by 220 by 250 bed size. The bed has a PEI sheet, and the unit does a great job at also bed leveling and telling you when it thinks it needs to level again. So what are my thoughts on the M5C? Well, certainly when we got into the initial stages of Boatgate, it did concern me and I thought, well, maybe Acom8 aren't going to be too impressed with the overall review because at the end of the day, I'm going to say it as I see it. But then we moved on from Boatgate and we moved into the PA1 Pumpkin House. And uh, then we, well, printed a, another one and uh, then I printed the Apple House as well. Uh, links for all this stuff will, of course, be in the description. But... I have been really impressed with the overall print quality and really everything about this machine has been pretty damn good other than the top speed of 500 millimeters per second which I think is very much just a marketing strategy. The 250 millimeters per second is pretty much where it's at I would say uh, and I think anyone that's using this machine will get a very very good print quality out of that. So finally on this, when you do get to sign up, there have been some questionable elements of actually what you're signing up to. And Grant over at 3D Musketeers has been looking into this. I respect Grant's opinion. And if this is something that does concern you, I'll pop his link into the description. So 100%, I'm going to suggest that a new user or someone that wants a 3D printer that just does what it says on the tin, that's app capable is easy to set up, easy to use, a first time user in the 3D printing world, I think Acomake M5C is certainly going to be the printer that, you know, 100% we should be suggesting. Um, that being the case, though, there's one annoying thing about this printer. And um, let me show you exactly what that sounds like. So I've just finished printing the bearded yell. Let's, um, let's look to maybe change the filament, for example. Okay, let's, let's stop that. Let's um, let's retract the filament. Let's. You see my point. The beeping is annoying, like really, really annoying, and you can't switch it off. But if you go over to the Discord, there's lots of discussion around this at the minute, and really and truly, I'd like to see an option where you can switch that off. If you're printing at night and you've got a family or you've got friends around, and that thing keeps beeping, yeah, it's not good. Also, I just wanted to say that Acomate did send me a couple of spools of filament that I have been using on these prints as well. So that's what it's printed in. So in closing, what are my final thoughts? Well, I think the M5C certainly has its place inside of the 3D printing world right now. I think people that are coming into this is a brand new hobby. I think this printer is going to very much revolutionize their experience inside of the 3D printing world. It's not a Core XY, but it's still a very, very fast bed slinger. And certainly for the money, I think you can't go far wrong with it. The print quality is great. And actually, to be honest with you, I've liked the whole experience and I want to continue using this 3D printer. I may end up getting the M5 as well. I've certainly requested one. Let's see what happens with that. See if we can do a comparison. If you've got any comments that you want to put into this video, put them in below. If you've liked this video, please consider subscribing. And guys, we'll see you next time. Bye for now. You are watching a master at work.